Hey, thanks for joining us on YouTube. Oh, across the land, a nice ticket shot at hand. Hello everybody, I'm Brian Adams, and this is part 11 of my Jeepers Creepers truck that I'm working on. I wanted to show you um, the latest that I'm doing with it. So let's take a look, shall we? Alright, so my new situation is I have to build the peep that goes underneath here, and to do so, it is about the same exact height as it is from the top of this uh, hood to the bottom of the hood. It is a, um, on this one is about two and a half inches I need. So what I'm actually going to have to do is first I'm going to make a pattern of the outside of this. Taking the hood off and I placed it on a uh, not watercolor paper but a heavier cardstock. Uh, trace out the design of it. And I have done two of those exactly the same and um, this one I've cut out the other one I haven't cut out yet I'm gonna do that next uh, I'm actually going to put these at about I'm gonna connect them together and make them two and a half inches tall okay so I was kind of eyeballing it I took this piece of paper and I cut it two and a half inches and what I thought of hmm, before I start that what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and look because what I'm trying to do is line it up to the, be the same height as this hood. Now granted there is going to be a little bit of build up when I make it. So I'll probably go about an eighth of an inch under this. And actually this comes out to be two and three eighths of an inch. Maybe a little, yeah I'll just take it out to two and a quarter inch and make that the height of it. Uh, so that um, I could get it more accurate. Yeah, so anyway, I'm going to take this piece that's going to fit right here. Alright, so the next thing I've done is that piece of paper that you saw, the heavy cardstock. What I've done is I folded an eighth of an inch back, and not just a fold, I made it at, a, at an angle like this on both sides. And I've glued it to the paper about uh, a th about an eighth of an inch and I've actually made a piece of paper to measure where it was precisely on both sides and then uh, because I actually didn't <laughs> line this part up but what I did is I made a mark on my teriyaki stick to know exactly precisely where it sits here because I'm going to have to take this piece and glue it on top of there once this dries. So I want them to line up uh, perfectly uh, right off the bat and uh, so that everything uh, works the way it's supposed to. Um, and also make sure that when you do that, you make sure that both top pieces are facing upwards so when it fits on it. Okay, um, so here it is. That part is glued with the top on and the bottom. And we have also put a uh, piece, or I have put a piece in there that I folded at a quarter of an inch. Okay, so I'm rolling along pretty quick here, so let me show you what I've got so far. Uh, this is the dual piece, um, but there's one, two, three, four, five on each one and it lines up. Uh, this is what I'm doing, that grill, you can see it has that shape that comes out on both sides and um, I'm coming around but I wanted to take a picture of it since I'm moving so quickly with it uh, the back part I did slot it out so that the cab can um, fit in and that this could slide under this part of the hood so onwards okay so here's what the piece looks like so far the difficult uh, Part is coming up. Uh, I put each one of the pieces of the grill on and they're in the space that they should be to fit the front. Then I've taken a piece that's about uh, 
sixteenth of an inch around just to glue it at the top before I get started. Uh, this is going to be the fun part of it uh, and kind of crazy part of it. This is actually not the shape of the truck. So what I have to do now is I have to break these free down here. And it's actually more of a, a, a C shape. You can actually see it. This part here should actually be come out like this. Okay, let me show you this. This is actually what I'm trying to do. See over there in the uh, right corner where um, where the fender, you can tell, is a different color, more of an orange color, and the part that comes down from the cab uh, extend that. That's actually what I'm doing. And see how it's rounded around the, the hood? and then it's more flatter out toward the front. So we're trying to create that look. Um, so this probably seems crazy to you, but what I've done so far is for the purpose of that. One, I wanted to find out how far apart these grill pieces were. Let me back, let me refocus my camera. And I cut two of them off, I just sliced them. And now I'm actually making this part right here that comes down on the side of the cab. You can see that on both sides. And um, you know, they're taken up by the two pieces that came out. This actually has a curb shape to it. Um, as you can see, a little bit more prominent on this. Because it's wet, I'm not going to uh, do uh, much with it right now. I'm going to let it dry. Uh, the other side doesn't look, I guess it does, yeah it does, it, it, uh, but, okay so this is a shape, I'm going to let it dry, um, and I'm going to be working my way down in the shape that comes down and goes out, uh, these will be joining in later, because we have to bring this whole front of the, the cab uh, lower part out, okay here is a shot of it now, uh, I've actually taken a thin piece of paper and made it about a quarter of an inch coming down. Okay, so here's the picture of what I'm actually making to give you an idea. Um, uh, this was a friend of mine that it was being made. Okay, so in this picture it shows you um, what we're looking at. The, we're looking at the part that goes to the hood and how it comes down there. Um, let me show the part that comes out from the head right here. Now this protrudes out a little bit further than I want it to. Um, but then I'm getting the shape right here. Um, this part comes down and you can see this is where the other part would line up. Uh, it comes out a little bit further and I'm trying to keep that shape in line with the opposite one over there. Hey, if you like what you saw today, don't forget to like and subscribe and all that jazz uh, so that I know you're liking the video. Don't forget to tell your friends and family members and neighbors, uh, your best friends, uh, what you're seeing here. If you would like to subscribe, if you would like them to subscribe, that'd be great. And um, let's see, I think that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed what you saw today, and as always, thank you for tuning in. So long, everybody.